Ella Smith with Horse Lover Magazine. And the focus of this video will be how we got our off-the-track thoroughbred, Sonny, into the lope. Now that Sonny's more comfortable at the lope, he's loosening up, what habits has he had to overcome to get there? More of the, the most complicated habit that we've had to deal with is his lack of extension and his lack of straightness. And that's probably been the result of, of his time on the track when he's been led to the, the starting gate by a pony horse and pulled to the left with his body moving to the right. Mm -hmm. So what we've had to do in the process is work Sonny back to a position where he will extend, yet not be out of control, mm -hmm. where we can propel him forward with the cues that we described in the video on cueing, and also, if you'll think about the, the information that was provided in the consistency video, we talked about a barrier being created by the hackamore and the fact that when he contacts the hackamore, he learns to back off of that pressure, collect to some extent, yet maintain his straightness. This is what we've tried to do at a walk. We've tried to do it at a trot. We're still a work in progress with that. But at this point, we're ready to do some of that at a lope as well. So we're making a great deal of progress in terms of his development and training. Okay, so today when we watch Sonny, we'll see him going forward. It's extending with a loose rein or a looser rein than he was definitely used to on the track. Yes, and one thing we've had to do with Sonny relative to a lope is we would not use the normal cue for a lope and a lead that we would with a horse that we were simply training uh, as a green horse. Given his history, it's been necessary for me to basically trot him into a lope. Now, I've used the cues that would normally be used to maintain the lope once he gets started. But the initial cues have not been used to this point. Eventually, they will. Um, our goal is for Sonny to be able to start in the correct lead from a, from a standstill, which we will do at a certain point in time. But right now, our progress and our focus is on his moving relatively loosely at a lope and comfortably um, as well. Well, he looks presentable, doesn't he? Okay, now when we get ready to start, all I'm going to do is simply squeeze him with both legs as we would for the trot, as we would for a walk, anything to get him moving. And again, remember, as is the case with the trot, we squeeze until he reaches the speed that we want him to, to be. And at that point, we simply release the pressure of the legs and let him continue. So here we go. to loosen up a little. He's going a little faster than I would like for him to. Just let him figure it out. Okay, we'll just start over again. That was fine. Nothing wrong with that. He's figuring it out. Good boy. That was okay. Nothing wrong with that. He's still got some work to do, but he is definitely making progress. All right, let's try him back in the other direction just to see what we get with that. The cues that he receives are going to be delivered with the hands, the legs, and my seat or weight shift in the saddle. And all of those become progressively more assertive dependent upon his level of response. And you'll notice him gather himself when I start to gather myself in the saddle. When I start to sit up and adjust the reins, at that point, you'll watch him. If you watch, he'll become a little more alert and ready to go.
I'm more comfortable with the left lead. So I need to work on the right lead whenever I ride as much as possible. He did a good job with that. He did a good job. He wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but that's not, we're not looking for perfection. We're looking for progress and a comfort level in the horse's behavior. So I'm very pleased with that, and I think he did a great job. How did you find that delicate balance to hold Sonny on a little tighter rein, yet keep him from pulling and getting him used to a loose rein? If you go back to the consistency video, a lot of those things are described there, but it's basically a clutch and gas, give and take situation. It's fluid throughout your ride. Um, if he responds and backs off the pressure, I'll give him a little more rain. Not necessarily a lot, but if you'll notice when I'm riding him, I will be making adjustments with my hands in terms of where they're being held. And at some point in time during that process, I may allow a certain amount of rain to slide through my hands, thus giving him a little more rain and a little relief from that pressure. At the same time, if he begins to surge into that movement a little more uh, strongly than he needs to, I may physically take up some rain through my hands. Mm -hmm. So it's a give and take process throughout the ride with the propulsion coming from the squeezing of his body with the legs to move him forward, the hackamore in the hands basically providing the barrier to collect him back and bring him back down a little bit. It's that delicate balance between the pressure going forward and the barrier in the front that creates that collection that allows him to, to function as we want him to in each of the specific gates. Thank you, Dave, for that great lesson on our off-the-track thoroughbred signing. <laughs>